Hello guys, this is Pfizer and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a basic Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel. So before we start, let me first define what is a Gantt chart. So a Gantt chart is a graphical tool which shows activities or tasks performed against time. It is actually known as a virtual representation of a project where activities are broken down or displayed on a chart which make it uh, easy to understand and interpret. So I'm going to give an example of how are going to create a Gantt chart. Say for example you are working on a project. So in that case that is a research project. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to list down all the tasks that you are going to do within that period of time. Say for example within uh, the semester. And then indicate when are you going to start that particular task. Likewise when are you going to uh, expect to finish that particular task. And so in here I have listed 10 tasks that you are supposed to do within a period of time. And we have here also the start date and the end date. And of course we have the duration. Now to complete the table, to compute for the duration we simply subtract uh, the end date from the start date. So we uh, key in the formula equals uh, C3 and then minus B3. So hitting enter will give us 7 and then we will just copy this. So this will give you the uh, duration for each task in days. So say for example the title approval you have 7 days, the literature review you have 10 days and so on and so forth. Now we are now uh, ready to start uh, creating a Gantt chart uh, regarding this uh, data. So to start creating a chart, you, you simply click uh, insert and then on the chart groups you simply select. You may you may either select the 2D bar or the 3D bar. So for this uh, example, I'm going to uh, choose the 3D bar. So you simply click the 3D bar. All right. So the first thing you have to do is to insert uh, the data that you're going to use in creating the uh, chart. You simply right click on this area and then select data. So this is now the select data source the dialog box. So in this uh, dialog box first you're going to uh, add. So this is now the edit series uh, dialog box. So we're going to fill in the series name and the series values. For the series name we simply click the start and then for the series value we change the default by uh, highlighting the data on our the start date. Okay, then simply click OK. So this will now give us, then click OK. So this will now give us a, a chart of uh, the start date. And then we, we continue clicking the right mouse button and then select again data. This time we're going to add another entry. So for this uh, series, we're going to use the duration uh, series name. And then for the series value, again, we delete the default and then we highlight the duration. And then we click OK. So after clicking OK, on the horizontal axis uh, label, you're going to click edit and then for the axis uh, labels dialog box for the axis uh, label range we're going to select or highlight the task and then we simply click OK and then click OK so this is now our <laughs> chart now but take the task here is not uh, listed in order so we're going to uh, solve this uh, problem first by uh, Clicking the, clicking this area here, and then a right click, and then and then click a format axis, and then for the format axis, for the axis position, you simply select categories in reverse order. So this will now uh, reverse the order of the task from the start up to the last task. Okay. Likewise, then we are now going to close this. Like so, likewise. We are going to get rid of the blue area wherein 
uh, these are not an uh, important part of the graph. To do that, we simply click the bar, the blue bar, and then right-click it. And then we go to Format Data Series. In the Format Data Series, we click Fill In, and then we click No Fill. So this is now our uh, chart. But take note that our... Our first, uh, our first task will start supposedly on April 20. So we are going to get rid of these dates from May, March 15 to April 14. So to do that, we're going to copy the first, uh, start date of the first task. So we're going to copy that and then paste it here. And then we're going to convert this to a number. Since uh, we're going to use that to... Uh, eliminate the dates which are uh, already passed okay so we to do that we simply right click this and then uh, we click format cell this time we're going to select number and then we click ok now so the equivalent of uh, april 20 in number is uh, 44306 now why do we need to convert this because if you're going to remove this part here so we're going to click it and then you right click you simply select format axis and then for the minimum bounds you simply enter the first uh, date of the first task so in this case this is uh, 44306 so we key in 44306 and then we hit the enter key so if you notice um, the dates, the past dates are now uh, removed. It will now start on April 20. So basically, this is now your uh, Gantt chart. We need to label this chart by simply uh, clicking the chart area and then click design and then se select quick layout. So for this, for the purpose of this example, I'm going to select uh, this layout. So layout 5. So this will now show me the Gantt chart of the task that uh, I'm going to do as well as its uh, duration. So we need to change the chart title by double clicking it. We type the chart, the chart title which is say for example research uh, study timeline. Alright, so this is now your a Gantt chart for that particular task that you're going to do in your research.